Directed evolution allows me to rewrite the code of life, and particularly to do it to solve human problems. Francis Arnold's directed evolution radically transformed the science of protein engineering and its uses. Today, one of Arnold's passions is to wean the world off fossil fuels and create alternative energies. When I graduated in the late 70s, we had just experienced huge disruption in gasoline supplies. And it was quite clear that this was a resource that we should learn how to replace. But national priorities shifted. Energy research funds dried up, and Arnold turned her focus to biotechnology. The biotech revolution was just starting, and I was extremely interested in enzymes, in proteins, because they are the workhorses of the biological world. They're responsible for the ability to convert renewable resources like sunlight and carbon dioxide into stuff. And what I didn't know then is that I had no clue how to build new biological objects. So I realized that we'd have to have a completely different design algorithm for building new proteins. These are not the products of someone's rational design. They're the products of millions of years of random mutations and natural selection. Actually, where you begin is where nature leaves off. Anil was one of the first to use her evolution process to make new enzymes. Today, hundreds of laboratories around the world use her methods to produce life-saving drugs and everyday products. The wonderful thing about technology and directed evolution is that once you demonstrate this capability, then all sorts of creative people will apply it to solving problems.